And want to start off by giving all praises and all glory and honor to our Lord, our Savior, our power, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Our double honor to the apostles of GMS, those who rule well, those who taught us this truth. Double honors to those men and those out there laboring in this truth for sin sincerity, salutations. I'm your Lachman Ra'ah. I'm of part of the Shepherds of Berea camp through the Holy Spirit. Thankful. And again, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All right. For those uh, who are um, new to the name, Yahweh. That name is the Heavenly Father's name, all right? Pretty much, Yahweh is the Most High. He's the Lord God. And calling on that name, the original name, in the Hebrew tongue, you know, you pretty much, um, um, yeah, you pretty much calling on the Heavenly Father name, summons in the, 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 the Lord. And Yahweh means He exists, He is, all right? He is the influence of all. He is who gives the breath of life, that breath, that uh, that inspiration that moves people, that comes from the Heavenly Father. So when you're calling on that name, you're calling on that breath, you're calling for the breath, the inspiration, you know, and in these days, the more this name is called on, the more we're inspired to do the right thing. All right? All right, Bahashem means in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the name of the Heavenly Father's Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, all right? You can see the name is inside of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, all right? It's the son's name. Yahweh Shai means he is a savior, he's a deliverer. And according to Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, he will be a savior unto his people who are the Hebrew Israelites, all right? The Hebrew Israelites is the Lord's people. All right, make no mistake. The Hebrew Israelites, all right, are the Lord's people. Okay? And the Hebrew Israelites right now are not in authority. All right, the Hebrew Israelites are not in authority. We are actually in the lowest state. We are calling ourselves um, of like Americans or wherever the place we dwelt in in our captivity, by the way. We were brought here by way of slave ships, you know. A lot of tragedy happened unto the Hebrew Israelites, all right? And once again, I got to harp on that because most people don't see our pain because we're not looked down as nothing, all right? But we are not in any power. So what we're seeing today in this world and in society is we're seeing everything at a brink of war. We're seeing people have wars all over the place, man. And the reason why that's happening is only because... The righteous is not in authority. All right. The righteous is not in authority. It's pretty simple. When you see in wars and chaotic events, it's a representation of the authority. Let me get that real quick. Before I uh, um, start off with uh, the scripture that you've seen at hand. Sirach chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. So a wise judge is going to instruct his people when it comes to how to operate with one another. All right. One of the greatest commandments. All right. Is to what? Treat thy neighbor as thyself. That will be pushed. And the rules of how to treat thy neighbor will be influenced. All right. The resources on treating our neighbor will be set up. Okay. And this is something that the Lord, uh, is talking to the Hebrew Israelites to do, okay? But well, once again, all right, to know that a righteous person in authority, this is how they, they're going to instruct their people. Now, does this place instruct its people? No, it allows the people to go ahead and do whatever it is that they want to do. In all honesty, they're allowing kids to eat what they want to eat. They're legalizing prostitution. They're legalizing marijuana. You know, they're not instructing their people on that this is this isn't the way you should uh you know the things you should do you know you got fem females on only fans you got you know they they're not you know they the owner of Pornhub is a rabbi all right 
you know um and he's a rabbi which means a teacher he will be he should be set up to what instruct his people all right but he's not instructing it but the people uh he's uh, uh putting the bottle to his jake all right he's not instructing them he's de he's deconstructing them all right it says in the government of a prudent man is well ordered yeah the government all right of a prudent man is well ordered as the judge of the people is himself see as the judge of the people is himself so are his officers and what manner of man the ruler of the city is such are all they that dwell therein so what do we see out here now we got chaos you got cops knocking out palestinians you got israeli protests you got pretty much a full-out chaos but that's because that's the judge of the people they're allowing um this stuff to go down they're allowing people to you know protest you got uh and the beautiful uh priest rob shapat did a beautiful lesson on how we're not part of those uh those sec sections of where people say black hebrew israelites who are out there um um part of these protests and getting all crazy we're not part of that how we are underneath the apostles of gms all right and this this is the gospel of peace all right and it says that man have your feet shod with the gospel of peace and that's what we've been doing if you have been seeing the hebrew israelites all right all right and in all sincerity not these made up camps i don't you know we can't we can only speak because you got it's like speaking for the catholic you can't speak for a catholic because you got people you know and i'm using this because people want to throw us in one bubble but what about the catholics out there you got popes that are out there actually molesting children all right now is all people doing that in the catholics all right um you have people who kill in the name of christianity during the crusade era does all people in christianity do that you know you know so i just say that and then and then the aspect you know to even though they're gonna lump and put everybody in one basket <laughs> but you know for truth's sake not everybody's on that type of time all right we were here for the gospel of peace and if you haven't seen the fruits of that work we actually took people off of the streets from being influences of drug dealing, influences of um, uh, poisonous music, such as pushing forth this deaf culture. You had uh, um, 15 people shot in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? We actually pu pulling people from celebrating the days of Samhain and Halloween. You know, like this, we coming up into the acknowledgement you know, putting ourselves in the best case scenario in the best situations, you know, which is re being restrained from the world. Now, we operate in the world. Of course, we're in the world, but we're not within that network or being influences of that network to make people go off and do things, you know, you know, to the best of our ability. But this is what uh, how the, uh, the Hebrew is like. This is what it did, man. It saved men's lives. It saved men's lives. Each brother that came into this truth and sincerity has a testimony on what their life was before and after. Just like y'all showing on Instagram here, before and after. Look at me, before and after. Well, if you do a before and after, even in my life, it's been a, a, a big positive change. A big positive change, you know, from what I produce and what I go out and my intentions from then what it was uh, being and before I uh, got this knowledge and understanding. You know, and I'm not saying we're perfect, but hey, when we don't do good, we feel bad about it, which is a good thing, which makes us strive harder to do it. And anyway, um, as a judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. So when we're seeing all of this go down, this is a representation of the rulership. All right. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So. However the ruler of the city is going to be, is going to be how they're dwelling therein. So the people on here are, that's on, that's in the, uh, in the land, America and throughout, you know, the countries, is only a reflection, <coughs> is only a reflection of who's in power. Now I'm going to go into the story, uh, or, or a quick, um, I'm going to show you, or the scripture is going to show you, it's going to prove that this statement is true. But verse three, an unwise king destroyeth his people. Um, 
there's a there's a uh, I don't know if brothers ever seen it. You know, I mentioned it to brothers through the Holy Spirit uh, and Shepherds of Berea. It's this uh, show called the um, the Blue um, the Blue Note. Is it called the Blue Note? Pretty much, it's talking about a hundred years of life. It's on Netflix. Now, what that whole show is about is pretty much about uh, eating healthy. Um, and they were going to the Mediterranean diet, how using a lot of olive oil is uh, good for the diet and how people live to 100 years old in these different parts of lands due to how they eat, due to how they socialize and due to how they, uh, they exercise. So it kind of like documents that when you come to this America, all right, all right, an unwise king destroyeth his people because America is unwise and how they, they uh, and how they uh, instruct their people. Most people here in America, statistically, it shows that they're obese. Most people in America, statistically, it shows that they're going to a mental depression. All right, because America is forecasting, it's just forecasting imagery all day of what your life should be. And you're in a reality of what your life ain't. And so you're always going to be depressed, you know? And then you're, you're always working. And then there's always fast food, so the diet is always bad. So, you know, you, you're constantly being killed here. You know, you're constantly being destroyed here. So an unwise king destroys his people. Right. You know, some jobs, they make you work overnight. You got to work six, seven days a week, you know, just to keep up with bills. They're destroying the people here. How do you expect people to be sane and peaceful amongst each other? No wonder you got people protest. Some people are just protesting because they're angry as shit from due to backed up stuff. A lot of this stuff ain't got nothing to do with uh they just pissed the fuck off. You know? Due to a whole bunch of other stuff. Or oh, the immigrants and this, that, and the third, you know? Which this is the unwise king. All right, can't just blame the people. This is this is your rulership. You know, you you have people here struggling. You know? And trust Jake, Jake, work your jobs without a question. They're lining up to work your jobs, you know? But you're destroying them and burning them out. You know, wearing them out constantly, constantly. Meanwhile, you're on a yacht somewhere, some great Poupon, you know, taking a trip to Thailand, you know, to help out some kids with Red Cross, you know, an unwise king. That, and meanwhile, you're giving away a hundred billion dollars to everybody outside your country, but you're destroying the people inside your country. You see, that is right there is why you have a lot of people that speak out against it. And say that you can't just demonize the people for speak. No, the people is giving firsthand experience reports. Like, hey man, this is what we're going through. And you're gonna demonize them? Hey man, you're speaking against the country, man. You can't. Bro, all we saying, you should just take this into consideration and then move accordingly with it. Cause we're being affected by it firsthand. Obviously, the you rulers don't live amongst us. <laughs> so we're just telling you that whatever the fuck you guys got going on, it's affecting us in this negative way. And we need a better rulership. And what we're saying as the Hebrew Israelites is that you're supposed to rule by the Heavenly Father's guidelines. Because you swear on the Bible. But because you're not doing that, the Lord is going to take you down. That's what we're saying. Because what? You're destroying the people. Not only destroying the people, you're destroying the animals, you're destroying the land. All right? It's a lot of things that you're destroying. An unwise king destroys his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority... The city shall be inhabited, right? So through the prudence, all right, all right, of 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 them which are in authority, okay, the city shall be inhabited, all right. So when the one is of uh, much prudent, all right, and and who's the prudent ones, all right, from the apostles of GMS, man, you cannot take away those men is very prudent on matters of how a man should deal. With the neighbor, with the with the a woman, with the children, you know, um, uh, foods, um, you know, because God, people say, oh, the black Hebrew rights. I seen one video. What purpose y'all serve? All you niggas do is be screaming on corners. You know, that's that's the uh, that's the forecast. I never we, I like it's crazy because it's just like the same stereotype that anybody would get, you know. When they, you know, say, hey, you know, black people are angry or this person, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you, you sound just like a, a heathen. You sound just like, uh, you know, in refer reference to it was a video. Um, I got the video up now. Brother showed a Jake 
spazzing out for three minutes saying basically what do brothers serve being on them corners all y'all doing is being angry and screaming and y'all broke get some money you know how how my books books can't feed my kids nigga get some money that's what he was saying you know but money money is uh could be to destroy your kid your, you you your kid can have all the money in the world but that nigga go go ahead and end up getting, being killed like gilly the kid son what difference does it make if you got all the money and he ain't got no sense all right so yeah money is a defense but you need to have wisdom on how to operate most of our people can get money but they don't know how to operate with their own people you know or they get money and they think they're another nation and they end up uh, get, still getting played so or they end up getting with a harlot and uh the brother <laughs> sent out with uh um was it not joe johnson joe smith you know how he's in a negative hundred thousand he made over a hundred million dollars in the nba you know hey man you know we under the curses we need wisdom we need uh um we need uh pretty much um um the lord to deliver us out of it because ain't nobody out here and, and that's what the purpose we serve we're telling our people that we need deliverance and salvation because there ain't no way else out ain't nobody gonna do this thing perfect you know king david couldn't do a perfect a lot of men can do them perfect we need salvation from out of here and out of these bodies specifically you know so we serve a, a great purpose you know and we give an understanding about what's happening in the direction that the lord is moving things things in but see you you know you you sound just like a a, a, a heathen mystic person oh what pre oh man all y'all do is you you know yeah you sound like what people say like you know when they think about black people that's exactly how you sound angry and mad that's what people think about when they think about it. black people's always angry and mad <laughs> right that's how exactly how you sound when brothers teach about fruit fruits um to eat you know talk about uh exercising the apostles going to ride on a bike you know it's just you might not take for it because you're a piece of shit you're a piece of shit that want to that don't want to do that exercise or eat healthy pray fast follow the uh this this the sabbath like it's a lot of things they go into you know in which a lot of things will keep your ass from being killed and your son from being killed molested or whatever type of thing but you just focus on money well 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 everybody makes money all right so what difference does it make you know a killer can make money you know does that does that you're gonna you're gonna agree, side with killers but yeah you know what you on the side with the killer because the number one killer is printing the money all right <laughs> the government itself you know killing his own people all right anyway i'm, I'm wise king destroy of his people but through the prudence of them which are in authority the city shall be inhabited and new york is falling apart it said five billion dollars went out uh to a man eric adams it was an article all right due to the immigration crisis right this city is not being you know it says shall the city be inhabited it's all falling apart the flood it was flooding all over the streets you know you know it's, it's falling apart verse 4 the power of the earth is in the hand of the lord and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable all right and the one that's profitable all right is going to be they're going to bring forth our uh, um um that when they're unprofitable the earth is going to rejoice <clears throat> let me get it proverbs 29 and 2 when the righteous are in authority all right when the righteous are in authority okay the people rejoice because they're going to be as the ones in authority man no is anybody rejoicing here no listen to the music the music ain't even rejoicing all right um you just had uh what's the name little uzi vert he's, he's like man i'm tired of making you know i'm tired of making this he can't even rejoice he, he's, he's, he's tired of making the music and the music's supposed to be like therapy music is supposed to be therapy supposed to be have you to be able to express joyful emotions you know now you know you got in the songs where you, you cried out and things of that nature you know overall though the music is very depressed all right ain't nobody really you can't really find a good song like that these days you know you just get it the songs is just all either depressed or they're full of anger you know and frustration because it's reflecting the pain that people are going through but when the righteous are on authority people are gonna rejoice you're gonna have more of rejoicing music man all right rejoice records happy day 
uh, 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 um, <laughs> LLC. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. And that's why you see a lot of protesting. That's why you see the wars going on. That's why you see everybody up in arms. That's why you see the tensions on high. This is why. Don't make no mistake. Don't, oh man, this person did this or that person. No, it's because the wicked is bearing rule why these things are happening. Okay? All right? Now you can say, well, people going to be people, but there's a lot too. Yeah, people are going to be people and still do what they're going to do. But you can lessen a lot of people doing things based upon you being righteous and setting forth a righteous rulership, okay? And treating people fairly. That would help out, okay? Is, uh, um, I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna jump to verse, uh, four. The king by judgment establisheth the land, but he that receiveth gifts overthroweth it. And this is what's going on, all right? Everybody, uh, America itself received gifts from too many countries, so they got to please this person. They got to please that person. You know, it's like they pleasing both sides. They pleasing Israelis and they pleasing the Palestinians. And it's like, it you know, is you, now it's overthrown. So you got one side like, hey, we're pro Palestine. You got another side that's saying, hey, we're pro Israeli. And it's like they all clashing because America pretty much received gifts from both ends. So it's like. You know, we, they receive gifts from the Arabs. They receive gifts from the Africans. They receive gifts from the uh, Israelis. They receive gifts from the Chinese. So it's like, you know, they got to they gotta be favoring for everybody. And that's why, you know, it, 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 uh, 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 it's no judgment here. Because they're just doing whoever's big, giving them the most money at that time. And that's why you got shit going crazy, man. You know, that's why you got shit going crazy in the streets, man. You know, it makes sense. And there's civil wars that's going to break out here again, you know, due to prophecy. But once again, the main thing is that it's because the wicked is in authority, man. Um, uh, last precept, man. And so what it, what it, what concludes, you no know, honesty solves these methods. Is this right here, man? It's Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Right? You gotta love the most high with all your mind, with all thy soul, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. So our mind shouldn't be focused on what Esau got going on. Your mind shouldn't be focused on what the money got going on. Your mind should be focused on what the Lord got going on. And the men of the Lord that's on those corners is directing your mind to help you out with that. So how could you say that what purpose do they serve? You know, they serve their purpose, pointing your mind to serve the most high with all thy heart. They're actually assisting you to win in that process. They're actually out here to help you win. And you over here mad as hell, cursing them out, saying, what problem do they serve? What problem do them fucking protesting people out there, the pastors, the what, 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 what does that serve? Hmm? So you just question them, but with no question other, other what other people are doing. You know? Don't just start there with them. All right? We're, we're with us. You just want to come at your own. You know? It's a lot of things. What, what purpose do these school systems serve when, they, when people are coming out with a... a, a, a um, thousands of dollars in debt you know what purpose do these highest interest rates serve you know what purpose does uh, uh the, the, the stock market serve or your pension serve when 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 the stock market crash it, it goes down with it it's a lot of things you could say what purpose does it serve you know what purpose is the fucking jabs excuse my language what purpose did the jab serve when people are just dropping dead now and being sick See how the hell you get to the to your own that's on the you know, at least they actually keeping they actually out there pushing forth a law, a standard <clears throat> to live by. This is the first and great commandment. <clears throat> Verse 39, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And right there, this was cure the whole Chicago. This is cure all the wars, anything going on. <clears throat> Because you're going to treat somebody as you treat yourself. Would you drop a bomb on yourself? No. You wouldn't drop a bomb on yourself, so you wouldn't do it to nobody else. 
you know? And we understand that this is specifically speaking upon a neighbor as a, um, your neighbor in, in, in Israel, right? But this, th th you know, specifically, that's what Yahweh is talking about. It's just talking about their neighbor as in being a fellow Hebrew Israelite. So this will solve, there will be no bloods versus crips. And we push that. So what are you talking about? What, uh, what purpose we saw? We we stopping gang violence, right? All right. We stopping we stopping uh, somebody profiting and taking advantage. Uh, uh, Caesar Caesar Pina, uh, course, uh, scamming uh, they own. Because this whole thing was what our people don't like, don't have the information and know about this stuff right here. So who are they directing it to? Our people don't know. Our people don't. We were never educated. So what are they doing? They're using this as a tool to mislead or as a tool to pretty much hustle on our own people because we know we we are destroyed due to a lack of knowledge. We don't have uh, knowledge on this. We don't have knowledge on the whole credit thing. We don't have knowledge on this. So what are they doing? Coming out with courses to capitalize, lying to the people, doing scams, Ponzi schemes, you know? Because our people is just trying to uh, win, you know, <clears throat> or make a few dollars or, you know, financial freedom, which is nothing wrong with one to make some money. But you can't go about it mistreat, uh, uh, um, scamming your neighbor so you can win. All right, that's wicked. But where do they get that from? They get that from America because they do that to their own. They do that to their own. Ukraine, Russia. I mean, these guys are neighboring countries fighting and killing each other. Take, you know, taking over land. Uh, America fought the Spanish over the land. So when we really look at this shit, it was always some wild shit going on. The French, um, the whole French American and uh, Indian Amer French, um, French, Britain, Spanish wars. All right, that was that was America. That was own people fighting against their own people fucking britain versus the revolutionary war <laughs> those were the colonies that was set up by britain here fighting against britain that 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 came here like what like how you they then we just come from over there how are we fighting against the one we came from <laughs> but this is showing you the ruler man you know they don't even love they they, they own it themselves amongst their, their neighbors so that's why the wicked isn't thawing that's why we see this happening you know you know, so man, what we out here are doing, what we're praying for is that we're praying for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to raise up the elect in a speedily fashion. We're praying that the Lord pour out his Holy Spirit to keep us in the way. You know, and, and ultimately we're praying that the Lord deliver us, man. Deliver us, you know, and bring judgment to this society so it could be a righteous rulership. Because this is what we're looking forward to. <laughs> First Kings eleven and forty two. In the time that Solomon reigned in Jerusalem, overall in Israel was forty years. Um, and those forty years um, was in peace. All right, when Solomon ruled, there was no wars. That's what we're looking forward to. Okay, there was no wars. All right, there was no wars. You know. That was a point I was pretty much uh, wanted to just uh, go into and end it off in. And Solomon was a Hebrew Israelite from a tribe of Judah. So when we're put back in and the government is set up, all right, we're going to reign and, and everything is going to be at peace. It says that, that the uh, everyone is going to breathe their swords into plowshares, man. That means that no one's going to be fighting, man. Micah 4 and 1 In the last days it shall come to pass That the mountain of the house of the Lord Shall be established in the top of the mountains The righteous rulership It shall be exalted above the hills And people shall flow unto it And many nations shall come and say Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord And to the house of the God of Jacob And he will teach us of his ways And we will walk in his paths For the Lord shall go forth of Zion See And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem and he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. Yeah, those who still want to uh, operate in negativity, they're going to get rebuke, right? And they shall beat their swords, see? Peace. They're going to beat their swords into plowshares. 
So a sword is going to be turned into a plowshare to something that was used to kill somebody is going to be used to cut through the ground to actually grow. Something that was used to take life is going to be used to bring forth life. Check that out because a plowshare is used to cut through the ground to bring forth life, right? So you could sow your seed and bring forth life. So it went from taking life to bringing forth life all due to a better rulership. Just, just of a swap of a rulership. Do you see that? You see the effect of the rulers? Just of a swap of a rulership, they, everybody brains change. Oh, wait, what's the? Oh, no, this is, this should be used for a plowshare. Here, let's bring forth life. And then the ruler changed. Oh, wait, this right here shouldn't be used for a plowshare to bring forth life. Let me use this to take life, you know, just by a ruler. So that's very important. So when you see this shit going on here, it's only falling because of the ruler. It says, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation. See? <clears throat> Neither shall they learn war anymore. They can't even learn it. Man, that's going to be beautiful. We're talking about Hebrew Israelites and rulership, righteous government, King David, under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, where there's not going to be no wars. And y'all not looking forward to that? So y'all rather be here where it's going to be Gaza Strip, numbers. World War Gaza Strip fucking 18 You know kicking each other ass with laser beams And, and fucking drones and shit like that Parachuting in hey, another, Ham another Hamas attack and shit Y'all want to be around that? You know or do you want a righteous rulership Where people not going to learn war? Because even after you kick their ass What if somebody else learns war? People could still learn war we're, not, we're talking about a rulership where no one learns war man Man that's it, man. With that being said, and, and it says the earth shall rejoice, man. You know, the fir trees is going to clap, you know. Uh, yeah, man, that's not going to be the only thing that's going to be the, the trees. All you nature people out there, Peter organizations, be, hey, the nature is going to rejoice. Trees is going to grow. They're not going to be cut down just to serve as a motherfucker. Uh, a pumpkin ain't going to be used just to serve as a fucking hollow, uh, Halloween decoration, man. You know, the tree ain't going to be served to use just as a dam to put in your house. You're cutting out a fir tree, which brings forth good oils and scents and stuff like that. And it ain't going to just be used just to sit in your house and die for two weeks. Isaiah 14 and 7, the whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. See? Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no fellas come up against us. So the trees... Just by the change of rulership, man. So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Makakadash. Until the next time, I'll say Shalom.